I've never been that good at quilting. I have been gifted many beautiful homemade quilts. And I was encouraged at a young age to pick up quilting. However, I did not like quilting. I found it very boring and I didn't have the patience for it. And let's face it, blankets at Target are cheaper to buy anyways. <laughs> but how, even though I wasn't a fan of quilting, although I appreciate beautiful quilts other people made, I do want to pick up patchwork to see what it's like to have quilting as a theme in a board game. In patchwork, you are using a Tetris-like mechanic in order to piece together a patchwork quilt. The game is strictly a two-player game, and each player is given an empty quilt board to fill with patches. The pacing and length of the game is controlled by the time board that you place in the center of the table. It is double-sided, but the only difference between the two sides is aesthetic. Each player has a time token and starts with five buttons. On a turn, a player can choose to place a patch. You can only choose one of the three patches next to the neutral token. A patch has a cost in buttons and also has a cost in spaces on the time board. If you cannot afford a patch or do not want one of the available patches, you can choose instead to advance and receive buttons. This involves moving your time token to the space directly in front of your opponent. You then receive one button for each space you move to get there. In this game, players do not rotate turns. The player further back on the time board will take multiple turns if needed until he is ahead of his opponent on the time board. The time board itself has two different events that occur. Every time you pass a button space, you receive a number of buttons equivalent to the number of buttons you see on your quilt board. This incentivizes getting patches that have little button symbols on them because this is how you're going to be accumulating buttons every time you pass a button in the game. The buttons on your quilt board themselves do not count as buttons for scoring at the end of the game. You may also pass by what is known as a special patch. These patches cover one space on your quilt board and may help you fill gaps. Only the first person to pass a patch gets the patch. It must be placed immediately. The game ends when both players reach the end of the time board. Each button you have is worth one point. There is also a seven point special tile awarded to the first person to cover a 7x7 seven seven grid of the board. After adding up points, two points are subtracted for every empty space. This means it's both important to acquire buttons and to fill the quilt board so that you don't have many empty spaces at the end of the game. So I don't get along with patchwork, but the reason that I have a little bit of a problem personally with patchwork is 100% a me problem and not a patchwork problem. I feel like I'm an intelligent person in a lot of ways, but one type of intelligence that I do not have is spatial intelligence. I run into things, I don't understand how things fit together. It's just reality. While many board games do have a spatial element to them, they generally have a lot of other things to where I can kind of compensate for my inability to do Tetris-like thinking with other things, and I end up winning those games often enough to, you know, be proud about it. Patchwork though, I cannot win patchwork and that's because as far as the, spa the game goes, it's it's a very spatial game where you're fitting together patches patches and a Tetris style type thing. There's not much more to it than that. <laughs> now for the unbiased approach, this game is incredibly well designed and crafted, has a beautiful theme, sticks really well to the theme of quilting, especially obviously patchwork quilting, and the boards that you and your opponent make as they put together these patches are gorgeous, they're beautiful, they're different every time you play, and they have lots of bright colors and lots of patterns, and it, it's just really, it's, it's cool and really does stick to the idea of putting together a patchwork piecework quilt. If you have enough spatial awareness and Tetris ability to avoid running into pillars when you're walking, and if you have the ability to effectively put board games and cabinets and rearrange things and you have that spatial awareness that I do not, definitely recommend this. I feel like this is a game that's great for most people. Another thing about this game too, beyond just being really well designed for what it is, is I do feel like you can play this with many ages. If you can play this with a child, you can also play this with all ages up to elderly people and people will really, really enjoy this. And I understand why this is, I think it's in the top 100 of Board Game Geek and it's because it's so simple. It's a great, perfect two-player game, well-designed for a lot of people, just not well-designed for me. 
Or maybe it is. Maybe it's time to uh, take that on and get more spatial awareness. The rules themselves are very simple. The description I gave is basically all you need to know to play the game. And it's just fun. So if you do plan to pick up Patchwork and you feel like... Ugh. That was that kind of is proof of what I'm saying this whole video. <laughs> if you feel like this description of what this two-player game is is good for you, I do have a link in my description where you can pick it up. And with that, bye.